My name is Tomer Hagai, and I'm the Director of Technical Marketing here at Tintree. In this video, I'd like to show you how innovative and easy to use the Tintree Synchronous Replication capability is. Let's walk through this lab environment. In this lab, we're using Tintree Global Center to manage synchronous replication. We're using service groups in Tintree Global Center that allows us to tie together the primary and secondary VM stores to one service group for synchronous replication. Here we have multiple service groups configured, and I'm just going to click one of them. Here we can see important statistics, such as percentage out of sync, and the physical throughput between the two VM stores, the primary and the secondary. Going down to the overview section allows us to see the configuration for the service group. This is where we can find the IP addresses for the primary and secondary VM stores, as well as the cluster IP address, which we use for the data store. Let's go back and look at the VMs that are part of this service group. To do that, I'm just going to click the number of VMs in the service group. As we can see, there are two VMs in the service group, the SQL Server and the Application Server VMs. For each one of those VMs, we can see the IOPS and the megabytes per second, as well as the latency. The interesting part here is that we can see the latency breakdown for each one of those VMs. This breakdown is also available for the primary and secondary VM stores in the synchronous replication group. For latency, we show a granular breakdown of all the components that comprise the latency number. In this case, we can see the host, network, and storage latency. Storage latency also includes the mirroring latency, and that's the time, the amount of time that mirroring added to the overall latency. What we see here is the data from the primary VM store. The second bar allows us to see the same type of information, but for the secondary VM store. This level of detail is very important when we need to troubleshoot issues. And here we have all that information for every VM in the system. We can see that there are some VMs with higher latency, and we can immediately see what is the cause for this latency. So we see that latency is coming from mirroring, and within mirroring, we can see that the latency is actually coming from the network segment. Tintree Synchronous Replication also brings transparent failover. So let's see how that works. In this environment, we have the two VM stores, the primary and secondary, that process reads and writes for the virtual machines. The top part of the screen shows the primary VM store that has the reads and the writes. The bottom part of the screen shows the graph from the secondary VM store that only receives the writes from the primary VM store. In order to show how transparent failover works, we're going to swap between the primary and secondary VM stores and submit a failover request. Going back to the service group, we can select the failover option from the service group menu. Now the failover has been submitted, and the two VM stores are swapping roles. The primary becomes secondary, and the secondary becomes primary. This is immediately reflected on the graphs for this specific VM. Throughout the failover, the VMs are still being served without interruption, and they don't experience any issues. As we just saw, synchronous replication doesn't have to be complex to set up and manage. From Team3HQ, I'm Tomer. Thanks for watching.